students next we will topic uh, discuss about the topic of routing it is atm routing or pnni routing so what is meant with pnni private net no network node interface so network node interface is the interchange or interface between the two switches that is called a private pnni so it actually it includes two protocols one is the topology information exchange between switches or clusters of switches and the second protocol this is for signaling it is signaling based on uni user network service or from source routing uh, crank back like format this okay like uh, crank back or uh, source code source routing so first protocol based on a linked state algorithm so linked state algorithm we can use an algorithm of digit uh, digit stress uh, from that you will, you will be getting the least cost algorithm okay shortest path in order to find out the shortest path at, at least cost okay. so this uh, this uh, linked state algorithm it depends on parameters at the topology state parameters what is meant by topology the combination of links and nodes are called is called topology so this topology uh, state specifies state parameters this uh, divided into two sections the parameters of linked state and the node state parameters so linked state parameters which describes the characteristics of logic link control and the node state parameters which specifies the characteristics of nodes and the uh, topology state parameters are classified as uh, attribute or matrix so what is meant by attribute it is considered individually when making routing from directions so when you are specifying the routing directions so what are the uh, attributes means uh, what are the specialization that you, you can specify it for uh, for example it you can uh, give security and you can check the capacity of a particular link okay so that uh, so that you can specify the for example nodal attribute for security it could cause a proposed path to be refused okay particular പാത്തിനെ നമുക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ റിജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാം എന്നതോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനത്തെ ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ എന്ന് പറയുന്നതാണ് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് പറയുന്നത് നോഡൽ അറ്റ്രിബ്യൂട്ട് സോ കപ്പാസിറ്റി ഓഫ് എ ലിങ്ക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് അതിൻ്റെ ആ കണക്ഷൻ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് പോകുന്ന പാത്ത് എന്നുള്ളത് ആ ബാൻഡ് വിത്ത് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന ബാൻഡ് വിത്തിൽ തന്നെ ആണോ നമ്മുടെ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഒക്കെ പറയുന്ന ബാൻഡ് വിത്തിൽ തന്നെ ആണോ ആ സെയിം റൂട്ടിൽ തന്നെയാണെന്നുള്ളത് ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കപ്പാസിറ്റി ഓഫ് എ ലിങ്ക് and what are metric metric is a parameter whose effect is cumulative along a path and also you can uh, that in order to uh, effectively to be uh, effectively in the particular network uh, uh, effectively is efficient in a network you can specify the metric so for example delay metric you can add up as one progresses along a given path you can check it out the progress of the Uh, time okay the delay is increased whether the delay is increased or decreased okay so this is a uh, this is called a metric and next one is pnni what is a pnni pnni specification designates routing control channels for exchange of pnni routing packets between switches so what are the routing uh, packets they are called hello packets ptsp ptsc knowledge means that's all you can specify the uh, routing packets so what are routing packets the data or uh, the specifications are defined in a set or uh, defined in a packet packet means data combination of data okay that is called a packet uh, here it is in hello packets the details are with the uh, the immediate immediate neighbors and determine their uh, local state information it is uh, uh, nodes in the network exchange 
hello packets with their immediate neighbors and determine their local state information. It stores the local state information of the neighbor nodes. So what is meant by PTSC, PNNI, topology, state elements? This each node it bundles the state information. So state information of each node it will be specified in the particular node. PTSC. What is meant by PTSP? PNNI topology state packets. This PTSEs are encapsul encapsulated in a packet. It is called a PTSP. So that this from these packets we will be we can define the define that or we can be verified with each node obtains the link and node state parameters. So it will be confirmed. So when the ingress switch determines the complete path, the path is included in the correction, connection request as DTL. So what is meant by DTL? Uh, the specification, the ingress switch determines the complete path. So it specifies the uh, path and when it is sending a connection request, along this request, uh, the path specifications also it will be sending with the request. That is called a DTL. Okay. The topology information at a switch can be represented as a graph whose nodes whose nodes are item switches and whose edges are the links. You can specify this topology information uh, is specified as a graph. Okay. So each node that um, what are the specification in a graph? Each node is labeled with an attribute parameter theta i and each link it will be specified with the uh, vector that is called d of i comma j where i is the source node j is the destination node so that each you can be the link is specified okay so yeah, what are the conditions for connection request it should satisfy the two factors one it is the parameter theta of i n and another one is the uh, the link link the connection of d k of uh, i comma j or something i n minus 1 comma i n it should be less than or equal to d k d k is nothing but the quality of service requirement so connections quality of uh, service of the nth node or uh, kth node last node you can specify in the destination node the connections it will be specified with the, the value of the particular connection it should be uh, the all the values the sum of all other the nodes it should be the values or sum of all the values in the uh, specified nodes is, it should be less than the value of d k okay. and the theta i n specifies that the nodes must accept the connection request you can specify so what is the purpose of this parameter it specifies that the nodes must accept the connection request so that you can be you can uh, regulate the path or uh, you can uh, follow the path okay. and this states that the quality characteristics along the path must meet the requests uh, must meet the requirements of the request also second one is uh, states the quality the quality of the quality of service it can specify the particular the for the meets the requirements of the particular request, uh, request it will be satisfying with the quality of service okay. so for example it is specified in the example you can also find out the path shortest path you can 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 be calculated these are the three requests uh, in this picture there are four nodes and five links. The nodes of the three requests, one it is A, C, B, D. Okay, so this is the destination, B is the destination, A is the source. If you can calculate the, either you can uh, reach the destination by using the link A, B or C, D or C, E, B. Okay, these three connections are uh, specified here. It is 10, 2 means 5, uh, A, B. You can reach the B. 
so 5 plus 5 10 1 plus 1 2 so that you will be reaching either in the connection 10 is 10 comma 2 or otherwise 8 comma 8 8 comma 8 means you can specify c e d it is 1 plus 2 plus 5 8 5 plus 2 plus 1 8 8 comma 8 and another is request is 2 comma 10 2 plus either c and d you can reach b 2 comma 10 1 plus 1 2 5 plus 5 10 so that you can reach the destination so these are the methods you can use this is the uh, find out the path calculate the path and also you can specify the uh, you can find out the shortest path okay, by using an algorithm well meant for the algorithm uh, uh, by using Bell, uh, Bellman Ford algorithm, you can find it out the each node values. You can find it out the values of each node, and also link link state parameters. You, if you if you know the link state parameters, you can calculate the node values. Okay, from that you can specify the route or you can specify the path, shortest path. So here it is how to calculate Bellman Ford algorithm. Here it is the destination. This is the origin. So first you have to specify destination as zero. All the other values it should be uh, infinitive. Okay. So then you can find it out the source path. So here the path you can found. This is the zero and two. You can calculate the plus. The value is. The minimum of the value d of i j plus l of j l of i is equal to l of j. Okay. So destination path we can find it out uh, this value. This is the uh, node value. This is the uh, this is the link value. This is the node value. Okay. Here it is the so here it is infinity. You can calculate it. This is one way. This is the source, and this is the value of a link. So that uh, zero plus two. This is the value of two. Then you can find it out here. In this way, you can uh, two ways, two paths. You can uh, use. Yeah, okay, either zero, two, this or zero five. So, which one is the minimum that will be the value of the particular point, node value. Okay. Here it is 0 plus 5, 5. Here it is, here uh, 2 you, can, you found out as 2. So, that 2 plus 2, 4. So, minimum value is 4. So, that you can specify 4. Okay. So, another one is, here it is 0, 5. So, that you will be getting here it is 5. Here it is 0 plus 3, you can find it out 3. So here it is 3 plus 8, 11. Here it is 8 plus 2, 10. 11. So 8, here it is, you can use 11. 11 plus 2, 13. Here it is 5 plus 6, 11. So minimum value is 13 and 11, you can find it out 11. Here it is 2. Uh, here the value is 4, 4 plus 5, 9. Here it is the value 5, 5 plus 5, 10. So minimum value is 9. So that you will be getting 5 plus 5, 10. So here it is, you will be getting the value is 9. This is the value 9. This is the final one, this is the value. 9 you will be getting and uh, here it is 9 plus 2 11 here it is the value you will be getting 11 11 plus 1 12 so which one is the minimum 9 plus 2 11 is minimum so that all the values node values will be getting okay 
so from this bellman ford algorithm it is not scalable and, uh, at the last they found out that this is not by using also it is not scalable okay so in order to to be scalable a routing algorithm must be hierarchical that is called peer group arrangement here it is uh, peer group uh, in this pre peer group arrangements all the nodes it will be connected at peer group so, so here it is all the nodes are uh, first one all the nodes are specified in this particular network and we can divide the particular nodes into a particular peer okay. so first two uh, three um, points it will be specified in a, a point one a point one one a point one point two a point one point three so three nodes it will be under a point one here it is a point two here it is b point two here it is b point one here it is c okay so all the uh, a point a nodes it will be under the peer group of a all the b peer groups are under the pa parent of b this is the c so this is the parent group this is the peer group leader okay this so this is the leader group and also this is the subdivided into there are in the a node there are two nodes are a point one and a point two this is one group peer group and here it is the peer groups okay these are the subdivided groups from this you can uh, you can find it out the particular nodes also you can you will be getting the values of particular nodes so that you can be you can interchange information from this peer group or from the leader level or from the uh, um, at the lowest level also you can change the information okay so this is the routing mechanism of pnni okay